Okay, so let's look at the sympathetic branch. The sympathetic branch is also sympathetic branch of the ANS is also visceral motor. So don't forget that it's just another flavor of visceral motor neurons. And you remember from anatomy that those guys, their cell bodies are found in T2 to L1 or T2 to T10. I can't remember. Burn. It's okay. Somebody's going to remind me, and then that's awesome. So we have a specific anatomical location for the cell bodies. Our whole specific, like, our whole response is basically, oh, hell, I better run. So it's an O, I'm going to make this family friendly, crap response. That says crap. It's probably not totally family friendly, is it? I don't want my kids using that word. Okay. Same as parasympathetic, we've got two neurons in a se sequence, and we have a preganglionic neuron and a postganglionic neuron, and we have um, the postganglionic neuron dumping something onto an effector. And I drew these on the exact same page because I don't want you to forget the fact that my effector here is the heart. And it is innervated by sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system at the same time. And then the magical queen of everything, hypothalamus, is in there like controlling a little bit of sympathetic, a little bit of parasympathetic, oh, maybe a little more sympathetic, maybe, maybe we'll beef up the parasympathetic a little bit, managing the whole scene to make sure that the, the, the barfage of neurotransmitter is exactly perfect to get the effect that will maintain homeostasis. Really? I mean, that's awesome. Thank you, queen of everything inside my brain. All right, so aren't you wondering, like, what is the story here? Who, what are my neurotransmitters? Okay, we're going to play Pictionary. Who is it? Doesn't look like exactly the same color. Oops. But it is exactly the same color. My friends were dumping acetylcholine onto nicotinic receptors in my um, ganglionic synapse. So my preganglionic neuron dumps acetylcholine. My postganglionic neuron has a nicotinic receptor to open sodium channels and pass the message along. However, sympathetic nervous system, this is like run fast. And who are you going to expect to be down here? Um, what kind of chemical, what kind of neurotransmitter? Is it the same? I know you can tell what color that is. Dude, no one can tell what color that is. That is uh, epinephrine. It can also be norepinephrine. Both of these guys are neurotransmitters that could be dumped from sympathetic neurons, from the postganglionic sympathetic neuron. And then you tell me what kind of receptor are we going to have. Well, what we know is that we're going to have an adrenergic receptor. So I'm going to write that down too, adrenergic receptor. And I drew it like a little V. And, and my epinephrine is going to stimulate the adrenergic receptor, which is going to do the G protein thing. And remember we had two flavors of adrenergic receptors? We had the alpha receptor and we had the beta receptor. And depending on the effect that's necessary, different effectors will have different 
adrenergic receptors. So sometimes in some homeostatic pathways, we will see alpha receptors on the effector organ, and that will, we will be able to go, oh, now I understand why we see the effect that we do. Other times we'll see the beta adrenergic receptors on the effector organ, and then we'll say, oh, yeah, we can totally figure out how that gets the effect that it does. We will see all of these. We're going to do blood pressure. When we talk about blood pressure, we're going to talk about beta blockers, which are drugs that block beta adrenergic receptors. So you can probably imagine, if that's a blood pressure lowering medication, you can probably imagine where you might see those and what the effect might be when you get stuff dumped upon them. But we'll talk about those details later. I think that that is everything that you need to know about the, the sympathetic branch of the autonomic nervous system. There's one more um, branch, I guess, that is, it's a little bit vague, and it probably should be glumped up with the sympathetic branch, and so we'll talk about that one next.